and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pannonian Avar series here on the Lord Master channel. And as you can see on that map here, it, it kind of looks like the borders are relatively unchanged to one and four to think of where we last were on the uh, previous episode, which was mainly about the uh, whole knighthood thing and all that. And since I have this ability to um, buy claim interaction, which you can buy unpressed claims in exchange for piety. And so I thought, well, I'm 61 years old, still in fine health. I believe there is still time for that. But the question is, where to expand? And since this is a new century with new opportunities, so I kind of thought, look a little more westward. Um, because, you know, I still see Great Moravia, and there's Bohemia, but I've not yet controlled parts of some that I kind of do desire. So you could say I would like to have Moravia, Bohemia, Austria, Steiermark, Ukraine, the Ruli area, Corinthia, and Salzburg. Oh, not to forget Tyrol as well. Yep, I just came up with some territory ambitions right there. I mean, there'll still be vassal kingdoms, it's just, um, which is, uh, lately I've taken an interest uh, in those areas. Only because, um, I thought about the Austro-Hungarian Empire recently, and a little bit of the history in my free time, and I thought, why don't we just make the Carpathian Kagan and have a similar borders, as it were. I mean, it may not look like that right now, because we obviously outgrown ourselves, <laughs> including, you know, those areas, and Saporizia and a uh, bit of the Caucasus and a little bit of Ruthenia, but that's just due to my vassals. And of course, do not forget Glesivonia, which is another. So, more interested of westward expansion. Only because, I mean, yes, we do have contact with Western Francia, but I highly doubt, even if we expand as far as Tyrols, how much I'm willing to expand, I doubt that we would be in contact with anybody from the, from the British Isles. Because one day I would love to get a cr crack at these Adamites, just to take back, you know, Canterbury for the Catholics. Not ourselves, but to help them out, let the Catholics reclaim control over these uh, crazy Adamites that still live there in that end of England. I like how you said those crazy Adamites, even though they're a little more peaceful than we get them credit for. When you look at the, um, the face here. Sanctity and nature communal identity. That's how I said a little more that to then give them credit for. So yes, uh, that county of Kent is the only Adamite county left in the world. Reminds me. And of course, I, earlier I mentioned the Manichaean series. That's coming up, in fact, coming tomorrow. On tomorrow, Crusader Kings 2, HIP, Manichaean Nomads will be premiered. First two episodes of it. So, there's those Manichaeans that are still around. Five counties follow this fate. So it's doubtful if there are any Manichaean lower characters. And it's rather amazing that Kurmazdism, also known as Sogdian Zoroastrianism, um, that I sometimes call it, is still the only Zoroastrian faith left in the world during this playthrough. Usually they disappear entirely, but no, they have not gone away, despite not having a religious head, because if they were to have a religious head, they would say, um, I think they would have to try to, you know, go get those holy sites in certain areas. <laughs> I 
My goodness, the Sog Dunes are in control. But it may have been a cultural change. Yeah, at some point during the history, the Tajiks converted their culture to the Sogdians. But keep in mind, they're both Iranian cultures. They can't mix the heritages together. So that's the reason for that. That definitely sounds like the Tajik people we know today, with their um, mountain homes tradition that they're establishing. Because Tajikistan today, um, which is, you know, around that area there, Tajikistan today is largely a mountainous country. Still, it's rather amazing. And then there's this Khanate led by the Uyghur Han. Speak the Chinese language. And uh, what else? So I noticed about the uh, some of the dev diaries from one of the upcoming flavor packs for one of the mods that I plan to use for a future series. Uh, like they're going to have one for the uh, flavor pack for the Tarim Basin. And it does include the Dan Huang area, which, um, uh, where is Dan Huang? He passed through there. I can see. Dokan. Okay, that's Dan Huang. It's just they use a different name because of that culture. They do have a different name for culture. Dokan is the Uyghur name of, of Dan Huang. And that area, including all the way back there, is going to be part of the, you know, part of that flavor pack, some of that content that they'll add in the rice mod. Which, again, I will use that in a future series. So now we return to Europe, because the last time in that episode we kind of intervened in one of those wars up there. Which, again, I have no desire for territory expansion up there. It's all pagan and Jewish from there. I'm more interested in westward expansion. Especially Great Moravia. Because I figured, hey, let's do something about this. You cannot buy a claim because you cannot buy a claim if you are already king of that. Um, what about request claim? Will not accept because you're already King or Emperor. Okay. Then we'll just have to take it little by little. Who's got Austria? You there. Austria for starters. There is no star mark. Let's start, but bearing in mind that the current innovations we have, we're going for head oak tree, and we do not have the uh, a divine right, which you can press several of your claims in a single war, which would be excellent. But I'd rather take things slow, you know. We had a bad habit of overextension back in our day. So Austria will be first. There is a Prince Bishop of Salzburg, and I'll have that claim too, since it's in a separate country. Tyrol does exist as a vassal to East Francia. One more. Knowing how long these wars take. Actually, that's all in East Franca. So we'll take Austria and Salzburg. Possibly Tyrol. Oh, 
What's the penalty if you were to you could put her there? Hey, and Avari and children to be there. You don't cost too much prestige, but what's the penalty? You will lose the level of fame. Just for attacking an ally, which is just terrible. No, not that screen. Hmm. We'll have to get Corinthia a little later. You only need one more of this, so. It's part of Italy traditionally. Yeah, I got it all figured out. Now all we need to do is just raise some money. Get it up to at least a thousand. You have to build a war chest. I mean, just like that ambition at CK2, where you would have, to, since you are Emperor tier, Empire tier country, that if you want to build a war chest, you got to reach up a thousand gold. So let's reach a thousand gold before my health starts getting bad. And then all those claims that I come up with will be lost. Renewed Jihad. The House of Islam is under a grave threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels in its very heartlands. In response, his magnificence, Caliph Javid, has declared that an era of renewed Jihad is upon the world. The call reaches of Dar al Islam must be retaken at all costs. All righteous Muslim people should prepare to join the ranks for the Mujahideen for the upcoming struggles. This could be the beginning of unprecedented Muslim aggression. No Christian power has something in the Middle East. Probably gonna want Anatolia. Or better yet, Dalem. Because some of that is Armenian territory. St. George protect us. Or better yet, Against them. Or worse, Sicily. Gonna leave Corta. Huh? That's good. Still feeling fine. And spring and regret. Spring of regret. No matter how many days twist and pass, the world seems distant. As through the glass, alone, a rift without that sweet woman, we wonder, wondering where her began. I don't know how to quite feel about this. So you lose so much stress. Man worthy of doubt. During a recent visit, Duchess es uh, Essen spoke at length about her husband, Count Cardan. I am sure if this was the intention, but listening to Essen made me think I've been giving Cardan too much credit. Thank you for showing me, Essen. I'm about to become a scholar, and that'll jump up a little bit for uh, what we want, actually. I don't know if I'll be around for eight years. Sooner or later, my health's gonna decline. You know, it's about time that you should demand conversion. Hmm. 
because we figured. Like that. And that's the problem with spreading the dynasty around. Everybody's got claims to artifacts or something. Wants to write about warfare. How old are you? 25 in your prime? Very competent aircraft. Okay, so it's based on learning. Your learning is average. Only 50 gold. Alright, fair enough. It's a fair price. Day drinking. My executioner. The drunken antics of my courtier Sergi has been the subject of court gossip before. But lately it seems to have taken him to a whole new level. Getting drunk by mid morning, passing out of the castle courtyard, stumbling to the tavern in the afternoon, and waking up in the stables of a hangover the next day. Sergius' degenerate behavior is an embarrassment to all those who reside in Vishagram. A stern talking to will set her straight. And now she's no longer a drunk. Thank goodness. She gives up drinking, at least in excess. Flexible male. Nah, it's too expensive. I already have things in the court that improves the uh, prowess and the um, night effectiveness. Another inspiration? Wants to make great armor. Oh, how healthy are you? Probably gonna cost me hundreds. 78? No, that's a bargain. Your marshal and your prowess. You want to make a great armor? All I trust your judgment. And. Oh, well, good thing it paused. Um, one second. Eight years. Seven years. It makes a little difference. What do I have to do? I find my beneficiary on Rosa surrounded by scrolls and manuscripts, fiercely flipped through pages. My lady, there are so many areas of warfare that are worthy of attention. Strategy, troop compositions, battle itself. I don't even know where to start. What topic does your muse yarn for? So you'll de you decide. For the longest time. So we do know is we can't take Great right Moravia, but I am interested in Austria. Would make a good husband. Mazapanin of Sinjar. Sinjar, that's far away from here. I know exactly where that is. A good husband, you say. Do I get a prestige hit for this? Yes. But will not accept because marriage of low fertility age consideration. Ah, 
to mention the opinion. I can't seduce no romance, everybody, because I am a celibate, so impossible, impossible. Just a few more months and then we'll start the next war. I patch veteran. Today, uh, meeting with some low-ranking officers who command my troops on the battlefield. That reminds me, if you really want this done, you should start focusing on medicine. There is one officer in particular whom I find interesting. This fellow is somewhat old and most notably wears an eye patch. After I asked how that eye patch came to be, I have treated to some long-winded but fascinating stories about how my officer got that eye patch. What happened to their covered eye? And their experiences are finally one, one good eye and so on. The officer's rambling does drag on for quite a while. However, I do need to continue my expansion. No, no, I want to witness and these are just things useful antidotes. My lady, well, work on your press artifacts proceeding well. This sure seems to be a very good mood today. I'm not making any promises, but if I manage to produce a true masterpiece, what idea would you like to guide my hand? We already have this night related modifier, but let's try this. To cause more casualties to them, less to us. Alright, my lady, my favorite fish here rolls out and just as me over to, with, well, uh, with ink stink, stained hands. My book, my masterpiece is finished. An open it tome shows a modest understanding of warfare as touched upon subjects such as ancient military campaigns. The cover is silver, displaying a repeating image of geometric shapes and nauseated by the placement of sapphire inserts, is held closed by ornamental, ornamental clasps. Ooh, that's very useful. Nice, uh, with the martial lifestyle. I'm impressed. Similar dressed. Rosita and Rosa. By God, woman, leave me alone. Peace master shattered by Rosita's yelling as she storms the courtyard. Rosa quickly follows with stops when she sees her. My liege. Please talk some sense in Rosita. I'm trying to help her since I have some experience that may improve her work. Hmm. Come, please tear her out. Is bad feedback. Oh, of course it would. Plating out. Um, I'm expecting the, uh, Barracks for me when severely injured soldiers brought him. He's losing too much blood. Where's the physician? Take help. There's nowhere to be found. The chill runs down my spine. I might be this man's only hope. Sally has her step out of thin air. My son and heir, Karan, is at my side. Rolls up his sleeves and looks at me. That back, this is my patient. <laughs> That's not humble of me, but hey, I know what to do. My patient screams and thrashes, even though three grown men weigh him down. Every step out of ways of battle, step out of ways of battle. But my knowledge does not fail me, and my hands are made steady. I'm not sure how I manage, but. And it seems like the soldier will live. His comrades pat my back. Decorum is lost to thief. Thank you, my lady. We would have lost Kalach without you. I saved a life today. Yo, live. 
very successful wound treatment things to me. Move the rally point to neutral. My friend Boris uh, stops me in a whole big song. Ah, there you are, Katyarika. I've just spoken to Rosita. I had to make it skill armor for you. I couldn't resist the visit to armor. Dr. Howard, to meet your expectations. I think you will like the results. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Just a funny thought. My health is fine. It's still fine because I just started taking medicine focus. Anything else missing? Ladies in waiting. My very first year was it's a uh, system like to, to make the armor suitable for a content of my, of my glorious and will need more funds. Scale armor is not cheap to make. The material alone, this is not the time to be frugal, my lady. You got it. Because I'm a very generous person. Excellent. Difference is faith. In the county of Tarno, believe in the Slovanska, in the Slovanska Pravda, and they do not pray to God. Patriarch already condemns this heresy, but people ask for an understanding. They will pray to God. You're not doing nothing. You might as well start converting these people. There. Here. In five years time. With the flowers, strips, fiber gray covering away, my eyes grow wide. The armor is constructed, massively crafted, hardened leather skills that are fastened to the backing of leather. The set includes a nasal helmet and mail coif. Pattern with velvet. The whole armor is painted with images, symbols, and phrases of dedication to St. George. That's good. But I'm not going to use it. Because I already have this much better. Here's a maid look. No, oh, damn it. This one. Okay, it's gone. Come off it. I don't care what you think about me. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Shut your mouth. <laughs> That's something she would say if she weren't as generous, but I think that's something Karan would say. It's spring, so it's high time. It's time to begin our western advance. We want Austria. We're going to split Red Moravia in half. Well, roughly. Not too half. Too much half. But you get what I mean. Plus they're already at war. So 
They're already out there. Does not counter against our horse archers, is the pikeman. But for once, we need to take out those armies all together. Knights included, there's no reason to create separate units just yet. Use your combined strength to defeat them. Oh, they're chasing us. If they're going to be that stupid, try to get them here. What I think we'd rather stand here. Yeah, no defensive buildings here. Not a good idea. Not a good idea either. Continue to move. There we go. Trying to trick them into crossing the river, within the hills. And there's defensive buildings here in uh, Trinchin. It's uh, where we will hold them. See, you gotta choose your battles. And once we fend them off, then we'll go on the offensive towards Brno just to take their capital. And then we'll come on down to Austria, including in uh, Vienna, which is where modern-day Vienna is located. Good luck, all of you. Quite a bit of casualties, but those men in arms here will definitely uh, will definitely refill in two months' time. Out of my dungeons. He was one of the good ones. In fact, he might have been the very best. He was slain in battle. Old age caught up to him. We've captured this man. He ain't anything at all. Where'd you going? It was a good paying job. Make mail armor, no need for that. Back to over 2,000 strong. But I'm thinking one day, especially when I pass and then we get a much more effective martial ruler, those men at arms regiment size may increase. Take the reins. Now head to Bernal. Whoa there. This is even. 
ground. But we practically know the results. Begin besieging. Well, we may have to bring levies for this. Lots of it. He's not leading sorry, so we, there's a chance we might capture him. Queen Jude's Capetum of Poisons. Court artifact. Oh, I like that. For those who care about intrigue, this is the book to read. There it is. Heard that. Not like that. Because of reinforcements. Get ourselves reinforced while we're on the way. Not quite refilled, but it'll do. All gone. Stay here. Fill men in arms, and then we'll come in. Good enough. Move on. Lollards in excess. Duke uh, Zenfar of Essex has announced to the world that he and his vassals converted to Lollardi. Having become disillusioned with the teachings of the Catholic priests, the nobles of Essex no longer considered clergy to be righteous and true, as the large state believed them. The new faith probably aligns with the will of God that they are distant themselves from their former religious institutions. What twister mockery faith is that? Is this? Papal envoys reached my court, bringing news from the Vatican. Pope Hadrianus has issued a call to arms to all righteous Christian rulers. As a Catholic cartoon, I am expected to bear among men in support of this most holy cause, sponsored by the Universal Church itself. To, to all those who take a fight against the violent infidels, desecrating the holy grounds of Jerusalem, the Holy See promises full absolution from all sins and a guaranteed place in heaven. My warriors will be ready to fight. Tell us when. Next September. Not this September, but the next one. Next year. You got that? That means it could take about a month to assemble a whole army. And to get them on board. Which means we have to set sail from... Let's see. Oh, the beneficiary. Who's got nothing better to do? I may have disinherited Chorpan, but him being the possibility of a future King of Jerusalem sounds like a grand idea. Or at least to one of the Dukes and whatnot. So let's just finish taking Austria and then we will move up. 
trust ourselves, be ready for the crusade. At the max, all you need to do is occupy a few more. Seventy-seven. God dang it! Still got some time to go. Taking the enemy capital, but it's gonna need a lot more than that. So let's drive them out again, and after you're done, take crimps. We captured one of his heirs. And therefore, war is over. Austria is ours. And whoever is the owner of these lands proper, will be given it to them. Oh, you were the ruler of Austria? Transmission. Let's count. <laughs> Just to have them beat each other up. Here, you'll have it. Really, how long have I been? It's created by Tyrodin. I've been older. Well, son of a beeswax. I didn't know I was the cartoon uh, of Glacier von Nier. I'm fine, but I guess I'll have to take part of this crusade. I struggled to make out tiny letters on the scroll before me. I feel a headache building once again. Why do scribes insist on writing such small symbols? I squint and try again. I'd show a miracle with the aid of stomach glass. Even old women struggled with bad eyes I could read with ease. Bori, I require your assistance. Remember, September 1st, Crusade begins. But at least during this time this year, we still have the time to hold the court. Child of the court. I am faced with Vladimir Davinsky's government, fat eyes, which grow larger and more pitiful as Crane's country to the gently officers of the Lord's Mighton. Carton in moments, the boy has been at Gorod's court with no one to watch over him since the spirits of his dear papa. Please look to his future. The heir to Nitra. That's all. My hands are full, but I will find him a home. Civic rivalry. Here we go again with these two. We stop this foolishness when we begin. Who is that? It's not the Kunza Kal Kaganik. It is known that I must surely take an Emperor Consort to rule alongside me. Thus, I must suffer through propositions offered by the children of my vassals, whose only crime is to want to please their parents. One such petition now has my attention, as Mayor Chitanesi of Kapuzva presents her son before me. 
Oh, Tomach is clearly nobility, nobly born. I find my eyes irresistibly drawn to an unknown man at the back of the court, whose beauty is such that I could mistake him for an angel. A prompt from Ayrton is brings me out of my very expects the response to his son's proposal. Oh dear. Oh dear. This man, strong and beautiful. I don't know if I'm allowed to do a romance game because I'm celibate, but give it a try. I must know who that is. Oh my goodness, it's happening. Time has come to let my feelings towards Muga be, be, be known. I want to remember this day for the rest of my life. Well, uh, I would say that based on what I... I'll secretly plant a letter in this chambers. My declaration for love is Muga's eyes only. No one else matters. I pour my heart out page after page, my feelings growing. As I finally put them in words, my ink is barely dried as I set out from the chambers. Um, I gently place a scroll on this bolster. Will he lay here tonight, dreaming of me? No waiting is on barrel. The thought of rejection makes me sick to my stomach. When his uh, reply arrives, I tear the seal of again. While I cannot encourage you, my liege, I'm most grateful for your kind words. Yours faithfully, Morgan. But I'm celibate! It says it right here. I didn't know that a court event can actually bypass this. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, just make it sure. That's good. Let me slow down a bit. The war horse who's going to be coming with me to the crusade as well. Everybody pay the ransom to me because we're starting to save up and also move around the pond. What's closer? What's closer around the trees? I'm passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voices of uh, Sav Kelty and Belker Mark to my ear. The two courtiers talk at each other's secluded spot nearby. Frequently glance around to make sure nobody is listening. While it is hard for me to make out most of the words from the distance, it is clear that their discussion relates to Duke Togon. I must. Wait, no, no. Only could get a bit closer. I managed to get closer about oh, two quarters almost. Seem to be discussing Duke Togon's private life. It was unsavory habit of his. Oh, you mean that time that he murdered somebody? I already have a hook on him, which I might as well use that hook right now for whatever reason. But the problem is, I already got one out of them. So instead, uh, hmm, what the hell do I want from him? Oh, I know. How about you be careful? Actually, he's 100% willing. Might ask him to return. Well, just you and your family. You do that. Instead. It would be of best interest.
Thank you very much. Oh, and another thing. I know what you did, and it's not nice. <laughs> Sucker. Love to invite more knights in here, but please for the best. Ten months. Well, that means the crusade would still be ongoing while we get this new tradition up. Stop right there. It's time to assemble. So, what's the quickest route? I mean, from the Adriatic, which means you would have to set sail from. Uh, Rizan, that's the closest coast in Travunia. So you have to go through the Adriatic ground, through there, there, and then you reach there. Who are we after exactly? Those guys. So this part here is the one we're after. Right. The other alternate route is to set off from Sozapol. And then you go through the Bosphorus, to Marmara, Dardanelles, Aegean, and then you'll be there. I believe that's the closer route, so. So put him here. And raise all armies. It's gonna take 21 days to assemble these two large armies. Man, it's gonna hurt with the maintenance that we be having. My goodness. Something tells me that we wish we would have cut costs. And how much does the enemy have? Holy crud. We know who are the attackers. A lot of us. But not everybody in my realm is Catholic. I wish it was, but some didn't. And I know you'll have the money to spend it on mercenaries and the papal guard to help you out. And now you got against everybody who is of a Shari Muslim. Even those that broke through into northern India. And assemble it there. They'll be coming after us. So, guess we're in for a, a big fight. So, so, I wouldn't advise to jump ahead. They're not. Time has finally come to bring St. George's holy wrath against the vile infidels of Jerusalem. Inflamed by righteous fear and unyielding resolve, the great army of crusaders assembled by Pope Hadrianus sets forth to deliver divine justice upon the wicked and earn their place in heaven. Thirty-three more allies, forty-seven more allies. And how they not took part of that is beyond me. Only because it doesn't threaten them, that's why. just gonna take the scenic route. Let's not get carried away here. But it's only gonna get, it's only going to escalate and it's going to get ugly out there. 
And I dubbed the Byzantine Empire, or sometimes I would call it the Armenian Empire, because that's who they largely are and where they came from. Of that dynasty of origin. So we should not go down to the objective immediately until all the others have been reinforced here. So instead we should start off by taking parts of Silesia to get a foothold on this area. And uh, so that way we will have planes. The Ballad of the Garlic Queen. There's a story in our little town of the Queen of the Garlic Crown. To battle the infidels, she rode on a donkey, but her only success was against a small donkey. That cursed ballad has become very popular among wandering minstrels and thieves alike. Way too popular for my taste since I found a disturbing amount of similarities between myself and its protagonist. But upon hearing it, same as the song in my own face was my guest Alexandros is going too far. But it is such a funny story, because I am humble. And another reason why take that occupied friendly territory that belongs to us will have a reinforcements that we can get whenever we take casualties and we can start refilling reinforcements from there. Yeah, it's very far away from the main objective, but still. Hurrah. Okay. I am judged harshly for my hospitality towards Gregory the Criminal, who is avoided by almost everyone on account of their wicked faith. My failure to condemn and continue to prostitute to this irredeemable theme is perceived as open tolerance, tarnishing my court's reputation in the eyes of the clergy and the faithful. They have forced my hand, and I must now decide when... My courtier's crimes outweigh my affections for him. Surely something must be done. Our courtier's really so hard to replace. I'll use my food taster at night. Yike. You must repent, Gregory. Thank you. Because you being a pagan is kind of out of style. In some areas. Have they arrived in Jerusalem yet? They're on their way. It's only 3%, so now they are assembling. So I guess we should um, get down there and meet them. Nice armor. I'll be there. Stick together and then we'll come out on top. We might take casualties along the way, but I think it would be. Oh god. The cost of all this. Well, we have no choice but to take some church damage along the way. Occupy, remain friendly territory, and you'll be reinforced. If we get into the big battles, try to stick together. Even though they're going to be recently disembarked, which is adds to the disadvantage. Right now, there's only small armies out there. Tulanid Sultanate has not yet, but they are gathering. Only the strong tradition. As a reminder, ladies and gentlemen. Knights must have at least 12 prowess. Blade master traits have additional bonuses. Martial education traits also grant prowess. Our number of knights increased by two, and a knight effectiveness just increased big time. So meaning my son here, who has adds more prowess skill for the martial. Soldier of the Cross. Army stand poised to take part of the crusade for Jerusalem. St. George Wheeling will soon rise victorious. A um, lot of our heathens will paint the soil red. May St. George lead us to victory. So 
crusader. You're not a crusader. One second. Where's my son? Karan? Are you a crusader? Pick up that trait. Yes, you are. Okay, thank you. That's all I want from you. So we'll have Acker. And everybody gets whatever. get sick out there it ain't gonna put me down because I'm still feeling fine because I still have a role to play now what's going on down there All right, everybody will gang up should there ever be a battle. I seized a Mashriki mace for the Siege of Acker. So it's part of us now. So. This is the your part of Jerusalem, so we should split up. Which one's siege weapons? This one. Go take this. And, uh... We'll try to stay out here to resupply. Oh my god! No, my god, no. Escape out here. They better get over here. The battle's just started. And we might get into a huge mauling. This is not the time nor the place. Help! My boys are getting killed out here. They're on their way. Please, hold the line. to hear, but we've been defeated, but um, casualties we took uh, is pretty severe. Now it's up to them to avenge us. We'll be heading to friendly territory. Yeah, that was terrible. My courtier was captured. Yaffa. Try to take this while they will try to avenge him. Attacker, defender. Outnumbered, but they're taking more casualties. Look at the Far East numbers. They brought every single army of Islam over here. At least try to come up there and try to assist them. But they got this handled. They got it. They got it. They reinforced a couple more, but they still stand. Their enemy gone. Hey, 
Hey, that's my guy. Get him back over here. Five months. Twenty-three percent war score. So there's about nearly seventy thousand of them, while close to eighty thousand for us. Battle down there. It's Whenever there's battle, everybody's gonna pile up. We're trying to be cautious. So we want to control this coastline so we can start resupplying ourselves and reinforce ourselves out here. Battle in Jerusalem. Battle in Hebron. So far, so good for this crusade, despite that little hiccup back in, um, in Acker. And there's fleets around us, um, which again, there's no naval combat, but it's just troop transports. And looks like they've sent some to, to probably take Adana back. We didn't occupy the whole of Silesia, which was originally going to be the safe place to reinforce. But no, we all have to take the objective. What you get? We have Gaza, talking to Sheikhams. We'll soon have Yaffa. We do have Akka. If it needs to be taken. Jerusalem's in progress. What else? Um, Karak also needs to be taken. And Negev, finally. Control the entirety of it, you'll win the war. But we are somewhat winning in battles. Mostly winning in battles. Especially that major one, uh, second battle of Ankh. But we just need to occupy more. Silesia was just a diversion to try to draw their forces up there. Yeah. Like Taking a song to take Jerusalem. What kind of siege weapons do you or do not have? So it's a mixture. Got that. Just gotta respawn ourselves. Only because we can't go to combat under supplied because of the disadvantage of it. Who's there? The major armies are back. My friend just died. How many more are there? Everybody. Guess we're coming in. Help them out. Because there's not a lot of friendly reinforcements. I mean, they're out there. It's just they're far away. Taking the alternate route. Plus, it's their hills. The land of Jerusalem itself. 
is dry lens, actually. And we do not have full control of it. We have plus these uh, defenses. So defender advantage here. That's another issue. So he's got the advantage and many more numbers will be on their way. Where the hell are you guys? I'm getting on numbers here. Oh, they got a lot more out there. I changed woman. <laughs> Today I met an old village elder in my realm. Oh, as, I mean, I'm, I'm in Jerusalem. Uh, she regularly took part in all manner of sins, so she claims uh, the other elderly villagers told me that she was more of a troublemaker than a genuine evildoer. However, one year she fell over the fever and hovered between life and death for a year. So she claims the other elderly villagers told me it was actually a month. During this time, she dreamt of visiting hell and saw many terrifying uh, visions. After she recovered, she realized that she was given a second chance and uh, performed to live a good, virtuous life. So she claims that all the diverse stuff to say that part is true. Hmm. I would say whether it's true or not, her story is a very interesting one. We've been defeated here, but... God dang it, guys. So we're on full retreat up there, and we're gonna get caught out there. Head to Yafa if you can. Get out, get out! Yeah, we're gonna get caught out there. Not yet. So we're definitely gonna get caught by a much larger force that's gonna kill us all. No, we're screwed. Guess we'll have to make a stand then. One second. You be in this army, I'll be in this one. I know it makes very little difference of who's what in command. But no matter what, these guys... are all gonna get killed out here. That's our commander at night. Nope, it's too late. Nope, we barely got out of there. What little is left of us? Oh, that's gonna make our, you know, homeland. I'm gonna need you to calm down, all right? We got to get back home before something terrible happens. Because there might be an independence revolt. I think uh, we guaranteed that this is a lost cause. We're just trying to pull out 
stop Croatia from becoming independent. Why didn't you take part of this crusade? It would have you would have made a great difference. Only very little of our So head to Verbosna, safe place where we can uh, replenish our losses and so we can slowly reinforce ourselves and try to convince Croatia to say don't you dare even think about fighting for independence out here. Okay, we're here. It's going to take a while for everybody to have their men and arms filled and the levies and all that. So will they think twice about that? Well, meanwhile, terrible, terrible, terrible. I. Yep, definitely lost cause. See the big difference in numbers? So yeah, this war is already lost. <laughs> Look, it takes a real big combined effort to win a crusade like these. A merchant sent me samples of seeds. Plant seed claims are good for a health and mine. I must admit, I have little experience in nurturing plants, but how hard could it be? I used these to start a private garden. Hmm. Project fails, but I learned a lot. Go to here. In fact, both of you. Both of the armies, I should say. Soon he'll s he won't send that ultimatum. Thank you. We'll disband that army soon at our own accord. Well, yeah, it'll take months to assemble again, but it'll buy us enough time. And plus, it's for the costs. Cause I'm still feeling fine as I'd like to live a couple of years. But hey, it was worth it. Made my son into a crusader. So we'll end the episode on this note. Broken Cross. The Warriors of St. George found only death and mutilation to the gates of Jerusalem. The crusade, so eagerly called, supported by Paul Pagias, and in a disastrous defeat that only hurt the cause of people. This will surely embolden more blasphemers and infidels to further stray from Catholicism. 85 in favor. Well, that's not that bad. As we will end this episode here on April 1st. So in the next episode, um, as I will live a couple of more years because of that medicine focus, I'll live long enough to switch it to high partition law, even though I already disinherited one of my sons and all that. And then we should go for divine right. And of course, now that there's time, as soon as we we have our knights, we have our men in arms of what you typically use. And we should be able to fight against them for another part of, uh, of Salzburg and Tyrol. Don't forget those areas that we still have claims to that we wish to expand upon. So, we hope you people have enjoyed this episode. But until then, so long for now. <laughs>